Hi guys, in this video uh, we will look at what a peer-to-peer -peer network essentially is. Now, a peer-to-peer -peer network, often referred to as a work group in Windows, is a very simple network. The first point to remember is that Microsoft refers to a peer-to-peer -peer network as either being a work group, right, or they can refer to it as being a home group. And I'm actually going to show you this. Okay, let me just show you this quickly. If we go into start, let's go into start, control panel, network and internet connections. Let me just clear my screen. And if you, you can see under network and sharing center, we have a home group. So Microsoft refers to it as being a home group or a work group, right? They use the terms interchangeably. Let me just close this. Okay, what's the next thing you want to look at? It says, in a peer-to-peer -peer network, there is no server acting as the central authority. Now, if you look at this, right, we have the server here, which is being our central authority. Um, that's in a server-based network. But this server is absent in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Instead, each PC, each of these PCs, acts as both a server and as a client. Okay? Instead, it says, instead, each PC acts as both a server and a client. These types of networks are typically suited for your small office, home office networks. Okay, let's cover the advantages and disadvantages. Number one, uh, it says the low cost involved. Okay, low cost involved. Um, these types of networks are very simple to set up. does not require any additional uh, equipment except maybe just a switch, which is relatively cheap. Uh, there's no server cost incurred. It's simple to set up and simple to use. That's one. That's the advantages. Let's move on now to the disadvantages. Okay. The disadvantages is that it's difficult to administer. Okay. Like we said, there is no server. If there was a server, all the user accounts, all the user's data would be stored on the server. And this would give the administrator a single point from which to back up data and set privileges to the information. Now, because there's no server, right? The administrator will need to manually administer each PC. Okay, he will need to manually administer each of these PCs. As you can imagine, it becomes an administrative nightmare. But it is difficult to locate resources in a peer-to-peer -peer network because the data is scattered in between the PCs. It is difficult to uh, find and locate resources. The final disadvantage is it's limited to 10 concurrent connections. That simply means that you cannot have more than 10 simultaneous connections. The moment you want to move beyond that threshold, you will need to move into a server-based network. Okay, that sums up our tutorial for a peer-to-peer -peer network. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.